on the road again. You can see Lucky's on the road again. Lucky, Lucky Larry with his luscious ladies of, well, luck. On our way to Novak. Now with 150% more ammo crafting, I'm now able to, well, as soon as I find the schematics that tell me how to do it, I should be able to break down explosives into black powder and create my own primers. Hey guys, kill Andrew, okay? And I think I should also be able to craft some brass to make the casings for the bullets. Which would finally allow me to use the weapon that I want to use. Ooh, woo, woo. Frame drop. That's not normal. Oh, that's a loaded motorbike. And I can see the great beast in the northeast. Northeast? East? Northeast. The great beast in the northeast. East. Vuvu. Vuvu. Oh. Me, 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 good talking. Great town of Novak. Guarded by the mighty Soros. Thermomosaurus Rex. Or something on the lines. But first, I want to have a look at Willow's gun. It's time for the beauty and her toys. I can feel the enemy close. My spidey sings. In the bottom left of the corner is tingling. Oh, it's an... It's a whole bunch of baddies. Damn it! Entire battalion of no, an entire battalion of headshotters. Why is it always the head? Eh? Don't you like my beautiful face? Oh, I'm way too bad. If I want to keep this up, I really got to learn some vet shooting, otherwise I'm just way too slow, or maybe I... What do you got? A plus P75, I guess. Penetrating? Ammo break? Gotta take a closer look in, min in the meantime. However, looting. Searching for Stan, and there she is. Hey, Willow. Good job killing that nipped and destroying Legion scum. I hope he took his stupid hat. I have Moira. Didn't know where, but I have Moira. I'm thrilled to have Moira back, but I'd still like to find Chester. I don't know where Chester is. We followed the trail we had. Any ideas? Uh, well, yeah, I do actually. It's kind of embarrassing. I think the guy I was traveling with might have him. He was helping me carry my stuff. We parted ways at the Mojave Outpost. He was the big, strong, quiet type. Great for carrying stuff, but not a lot of fun. He didn't talk much. I have an idea where we might find him. He wouldn't say much about himself, but he did talk a little bit about where he was going. The Mojave Outpost. Great. That's like where we came from, right? Well, yeah, I am. If you decide you're interested, I'll tell you everything I know about where he may be. You know what? First, take your gun. Thank you! You're welcome. I promised I would travel with you if we found beauty. So, should we talk about this? Iron out some details? Yeah... I like to be very clear about how we are going to do things. Oh, good. Right, anything special? Yes. I can't fight with anything other than a gun. I'm lousy at anything else. Okay, 
I can fight with my fists if I'm cornered. By a rad roach. I'd love to learn more and would be willing to study, but for now I'm pretty useless. I just wanted to be really clear about that. So, don't expect me to fight with anything other than a gun, okay? I won't do it. Not with my skills the way they are now. Alright. You want to go to a gym? Yeah, I read books and magazines about boxing to learn what I can, but they're hard to find. I've only ever found a couple. But, if I can read enough of them, I figure eventually I'll get good enough to be able to use better weapons. It kicks some ass in a fight. Oh, 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 you know what would be even better? If we found someone to train me. Are you any good with your fists? Well, only sleight of hand, but not fisticuffs. Oh. Well, maybe we'll find someone else who can. Maybe. Alright, anything else? I have something for you. It's a radio. My dad got them for me. One for me, and one for whoever I was traveling with. He was worried about me going out on my own, and thought this might make me that much safer. They're broken now, and can only receive messages, but since you have that computer with you, we'll be able to use them. You'll be able to talk to me because of it. I met someone else with one of those, and it worked great. Well... Well, that's no fun. I can look at them, can't I? Alright, I'm willing to do that. Alright, that's about everything. I guess we should consider ourselves partners on the road again. You are now an official party member of Lucky Larry's Luscious Ladies. I can't think of anything else. Let's go. The Silver Tongue. Plus one charisma. And harps are playing. Alright, so I'm losing my mind. Oh, I'm sitting here talking to myself, which means, yeah, my mind has already been lost. Just take everything I got. Oh, now it's got the lock picking that I wanted. I really could use some sneaking skills for what's up ahead, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, it would be enough if I find some health boys. Oh, not sneaking. Beach. Alright, what can we learn? What's got new? Sneering Imperialist. Like the wind. Feet. Quick draw. Oh. Where's. It? I do know I can craft a lot with hand loading. Let me find hand loading. Hand, hand loader. 70 repair, alright, so. Nope, that's not in the cards. Alright, that's what I'm working towards, so I can craft more ammo, so. You no. Know, I can use what I got. Aiming at super mutants, you got increased accuracy. Well, kinda. Grunt. American 9mm, no, no, pistols, SMG, service rifle, assault rifle, battle rifle, light machine gun. Combat knives, no, I prefer the cowboy trait. Two handed weapons. Accuracy. Ah, stop wasting time, just go. Go, Imperialist. Go. Go into the world. And now I've broken the script for a level up. No, I did not. Oh, yeah, just done. Give me, give me, you know. Ability perception. Let me see what else there is to see. King of the Ring, you heard rumors of a new boxing My ring. My oldest brother, Val, is a doctor. He tried to teach me some doctoring, but I just couldn't get the hang of it. He says I'm all thumbs. Yeah, kinda. That's all. Oh, uh, any of you. No. Are any of you. S yes, one's a star one. It's tedious, but you can find some nice stuff if you're patiently rifling through everything you can find. Which is another skill I possess, and now I'm overloaded again. Yeah. Do me a favor, Eddie. 
The long road's finally done it. Oh god, grief, I already wasted so much time, I really should. Keep my act together and get this whole thing flowing. Welcome to Novak. City of Trading Post. Hello, Hello. Dector. What can I do for you? No? Uh -huh. That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? Oh, thank you. See you later, Doctor. Oh, do you see that giant, uh, gecko? Whatever that is? Over there. Can we go see that? I bet you can go inside. Yes, and it's the Thermomorphous Arrows of Flora. Thermomorphous Arrows Rex. That's what it is. You just gotta... Oh, what you doing here? Follow me around, hey partner? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Alright, Biscuit Victor. What are you doing here in Novak? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Yeah. So what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. You got no skin? Alright. Well, I guess you got a friendly face. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? You know, I could use some supplies. Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. All right, you said the man to jump me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. All right, goodbye. See you, Vic. Oh. Wrong button. The Dino Desk Front Office. I also installed another mod for the interior lighting. It shouldn't be getting quite as dark at night, I hope. But who knows? Hey, hey, Jenny. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. All right. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. All right, what's this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel. And it's mine. Well, I like to rent a room. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? All right, here's some caps. Um, thank you. Anything interesting? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. Dun, He's a sight. Up, side two. up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. The Rocket There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay. Other than that, no. All right. Rup, um, well, rup, up um. north away. And the there's a town long, just east of here called, called Nelson. Nelson. Used to be. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye. Great. All right. Mm, I already got the room. Where can I get supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the dining. The gift shop and the dinosaur. Anyone seen with a checkered coat? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. All right, time to climb into the dino and the bed. Through the belly of the beast out its mouth. So, you know, we gotta find the back entrance. Anything in the town? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. 
Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Who's Andy? Ooh, rubber dinos. And another post box. Alright. Time to get the inventory cleaned out. And we're back. This is Mr. Vegas, and I feel something magic in the air. Welcome. I, Come on in. I'm not just talking about the gamma radiation. It's just about time to get you some news. Patrons of the Ultra Lux are questioning whether it's. Eh, don't care about the Ultra Lux. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T Rex figurines, you're just. All right, what are you selling besides figurines? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. How about supplies? Guns, ammos, you know? Something useful. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Well, why? What good would they do me, huh? All right, tell me about the rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Well, can't stop kids, eh? How'd they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. All right, Jeannie May, Sammy. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. And the discount is 100% the normal. Alright, time to look the gift dino in the mouth. Ooh, it's getting credit up here. Hey, Manny, I got sent to you. What's going on, man? I'm looking for a man in a chicken coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Well, I'll score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Oh, You had your needs neglected for too long, haven't you? I can tell. Yeah, I... Everybody depends on you, you know? But they don't ask you about how you feel, what you worry about. There's something I like about you. You just seem really understanding. I was going to ask you for a favor, but I'll just tell you what you want to know. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Your old gang? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. All right, what's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I need Glad I could help. Hey, I know you've got no reason to help me out now, but you seem really nice. Could I at least tell you about the problem we've got here? Oh, maybe I can help. See? I was right about you. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. All right. So, what's your deal with them? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. All right, what do you need me to do? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. All right, I'll take a look at it. It'd mean a lot to me. 
All right. Who are you? I already know. He's an ex great con. Now, a where would be a stealth flag? I got three of those. Could be enough. Could be dangerous. But also could be enough. All right, let's go find Ranger Andy. Cliff Fiskers. Uh, I think that's the Dino Buddy guy. He has Dino Horse Races, Dino Tea Parties, and, you know, a Dino Jamboree. Oh, whatever. You're not who I'm looking for. Andy! Hey. Ooh. Welcome. Mm. Hey, what? Who? Yes, me. I talk to you. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Yeah, and you're quite shy. No reason to hide behind. Delilah. So, what you doing? Right now? Whole lot of sitting on my ass and counting cracks in the ceiling. Wasting my life. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing something good. All right, you're with the NCR. No, not anymore. Ever since my legs. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I check in with the guys up the station on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects. They haven't been responding to me lately. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk. It's still got me a little worried. <laughs> guess they're just sick of all this bullshit. Would you feel better if I checked on your friends? No, no, no. They'll be all right. They're good soldiers. I, I, don't, I don't give them enough credit. All right, tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who earn their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. All right, what happened to you, Lex? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the ranges. <sighs> this time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, got a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnt-out house. Not too far from where we were. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around, and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us. And he's scared half to death, been hiding in the closet. All right. I go to grab him out of there, and I notice he's holding something in his hand, something metal. He shuts himself back inside the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot. A legion. Using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking, I'd put it all behind me. Your body's injured, not your mind. Get your act together. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. But thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Tell you what. There's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Saved my ass a bunch of times. Maybe it'll help you out. Let me show you how it's done. Hadouken! What's a Ranger takedown? Hey, Willow! Oh, yeah. You learned. Woo! Some crutches, braces. 
Next time we stop, I should organize our medical supplies. Yeah, maybe, because I don't really take good care of them. Anything? Nope. I wonder which radio station it is. Ooh. Turn off lights inside Bolgolo. Turn off willows and move and do nothing. What's not to look? The looks room. Oh, that's that's more. That's not the normal room. Silence shortly. Quest objectives. Item display management. Sort items. Ooh, item sorters. Looks like this is home base now. Hello. Shower. Well, guest quarters. Ooh. Take a wink. Nothing to see here. Here's some pixels. No, you don't. No smoking. You can do a lot of shit, but you don't smoke when you're traveling with me. New York Confidential Pulp Fiction. And a queen-sized bed. Light on, light off. No. Oh, turn off. That's the one. Acoustic guitar, encyclopedia, pre-war book, and the big bad book of science. Right? I think a lady likes it here. That's good enough for me, but for now. Ooh, alright, I'm, I'm trying this older stuff. Sorting works perfectly, so I got my crest, crafting stuff now. Here, in the meantime, because I don't think I need everything. Lugging it through the area. But I think up here was normally your room that you can buy. No, that's not that's that's Isaac. It's just oops, that's breaking and entering. For me, was it you? Oh, it requires a key, so that's probably the normal door. Let's see if friend Vargas is anywhere to be seen. No, I think we already had a. Shift change, so... Khan Hospital. The mate the Raja is putting us up and keeping it quiet. The weasel Benny has been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss. Making me nervous as hell, but when I found out... We'd be passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other Khans say what they want. I know your loyalty is. Oh, that's... Oh, it's not Vargas I want. I want... Ooh. Boon! But now it's closed, so probably they had... Yeah, he's coming back, so... We had a shift change. I don't know if it's anything It's visible. Let's have a talk with... Hello, Boon. As soon as you're in. Damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Ooh, you look different. Like it. Real rough. Back them visitors. Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? You're looking for someone, I can tell. Feel the look in your eyes. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. Uh, I like meeting new people. I think you better leave. Treat everybody like that. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why? I need someone I can trust. 
You're a stranger. That's a start. All right, what do you want? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. And you want me to find out? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. All right. Any leads? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. All right, I see I can help. But how do you know your wife's dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. All right, you only trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I see what I can Good. Do. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Alright. So make it one for my baby. One Welcome. more on. for the road. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? It's why. Can't it's say we spoke much. Boone didn't move to the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. All right, anything else? Come. Nope. Come on. Let's ask Andy. Hey, Andy. You'll get the hang of the takedown. I had a lot of trouble learning that at first, too. Oh, I got out of troubles. Oh, what's with Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Beautiful girl. Face of an angel. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he was always happy, and for good reason, too. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she had better food or hospitality, she'd let you know. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She, she really was a sweet girl. I just think she wanted to remind herself that there were nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? All right, so what else is wrong with Boone? It's his wife. She's gone. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. All right. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but... If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Well, all right. I can take a little puff back. Don't be too far away. That's my bungalow. Maybe I could, you know. Vargas doesn't mind me visiting. Hey, Vargas. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah, about that. Uh, something else. Let's who are you? What's going on in the town? Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. So, why on your bad terms? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What are you arguing about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Ooh. But anyone else? Who, who'd want to hurt him? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. 
She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. So, you're a gang. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Yeah, met some cons. Alright. So, about this wife. Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. And I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Well, you could help me instead of just, you know, painting a big fat target in itself by... Tell me your Boone's story about his wife is so sad. I'm glad you're helping him. Well, I'm also glad. What can I tell you? No. I'm done. You? No, I'm good. Alright, who Victor? How long have you been standing around? Hey there, friend! Oh, not long enough to tell me anything. Who else do we got? Ooh, Oat Mother Daisy. Krim wimped out and accepted and Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Oh, you know what? Boy! Ooh, been real dark. Sorry to blind you. Your travel's been going all right? Yeah, so you're a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. The NCR have vertebrates? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. So, what'd you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Yeah, that's kind of like a used Lots car. Lots six out there. Yeah, that alone is worth two to three hundred. You know those... Dealers say, yeah, we buy every used car. I mean, all right, there's some, you know, some work hours and everything, but hey, uh, you. Please don't kill me. I, I swear I have. Wait, you, you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Who's the bishop? No. What do you want? Sorry, it's just you look like his type, you know. You got that. Hard ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Well, thank you. But hey, I saw some pictures of you on the wall. You're a singer from Reno. Oh, so you heard of me. Yeah, that's right. I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. So what happened? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He not like the other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get away from New Reno, He'd run me down like a dog. All right, so why would this guy be after you? Was oh, the question. well, that's all just a big misunderstanding. See, Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. You robbed the casino, boss. Robbed is such an ugly word, man. It's more like um, I took care of a payroll problem for him. Yeah, my last three also, months and I the next thirty uh, years. Sort of cloud his daughter a little. Well, balls to the walls for you. Thanks, but if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Well, I'll let you know if I know you some do work. that. Great, I really appreciate money. that. So, you also don't know anything about Boone's wife, but you got a sensor module for me. Looks like you started to build yourself a shish kebab. Amazing sword. Always fun. Well, let's break and entering. Maybe after I've seen the Mojave, I'll come back here to live for a while. Wouldn't it be fun to stay in one of the little bungalows at the motel? Well, we already rented one. I don't know what else you want. 
Ooh, it's nighttime and I can see inside. That's amazing. Any keys to steal? This is safe. Nothing when there I yet. Kid, told you Have a look around. Ooh, found Jenny May, so I can ask her about Boone's wife. Hey, Jenny. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Oh, sorry, but what happened with you and Boone? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. So what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. All right. That's what you think. We got no clues from anybody up here. Mercs. Look who's here. Me? Hey, Alice. What brings you here? Ooh, just asking around Boone's wife. Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. All right. What about the rest? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bullwhip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. Who the hell is no bark? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. So he's a biter? Oh, well, I'm Alice, and that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings, but he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. So, you lived it along? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. All right. So, what about the cattle killers? Hey, Howdy. Dusty. Up you get. Things treating you all right? Oh, it's okay. What you know about boom? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. All right. What about Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Oh, yeah, in the background, I got to talk over the music. All right, you're leaving lazy lifestyle. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. All right, what do you know about the attack? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave, leave it there, all full of holes. All right. 
I can see who's. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right, the west side. I'm going to take We'd a look. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself kicked. Alice and I'll find them. I will. That's just... Damn it. I'm a bit annoyed that even normal radio seems to use the stereo sound. So long. Ooh, that's annoying. I don't know. The... Oh! It is midnight, so... Oh! Cancel. Some of the lateness. What do I know? Dusty Mobile wants him to night snipers and check on the radio station. Alright, from the west. West. West as west. Oh, oh, I okay, can see you. Mode on. I saw you, sneaky little screams of Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incompetent psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Well... So much for that. Oh, there's a glowing one. Oh, thank you. Hey, Dusty. Took care of your problem. Now, what do you know about Boone's wife? Still can't help me? Howdy. Find anything? Yeah. No one's gonna attack them anymore. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Well, thank you. Novak can't like me. Some case, no. Ooh. Well, it was maybe a bit much, but... I'll take it. Alright, I tried this house and that house and I'm not still no closer to unraveling whatever happened to Boone's wife. Well, it's the shack of no bark. Looks like your regular nuclear cola Castle. addict. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Who tried to make you talk? Confound it, Nobark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? I want to know what happened about Boone's wife. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. All right, who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, anything else interesting happening? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Alright, so what's actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Right. Anybody else acting strange? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Hmm, interesting. All right. So, don't really care why they call you no bark as long as, you know, your friends don't sh start shooting me. We should go to the lobby. Let's all go to so, the lobby. Our motel sign? It had a couple of pine trees on it. We didn't have anything as interesting as a big dinky. Well, depending how those pines were growing, it looked interesting. You never know. Maybe. They were spelling your name when the sun was shining down at exactly the right. All right. Island cabinets. Nothing. Sarsaparilla. Mine. Radio. No keys. Was it open? Bottle caps and a bill of sale. What, what bill of sale? We, the representatives of the council, all three quarter on bad day, Jenny May Ground, the township of Neymar, the ownership and sale of this slave Carla bitch. You female dog. Ooh, what, what was that? Great expedition. Who needed? Seeking brave treasure hunters. Expedition into Arizona hunting the legendary stash of Big Bradley the Brawn. Come to see us at the Searchlight Airport if you are interested. Oh. More and more strange things. Alright. All right, Jenny. We gotta talk. Hey there. Oh. I wonder if we ask her to, you know, explain herself. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Ooh. Ooh. Can't really confront her. What can you tell me about Boone's wife again? How? Oh. No. All right then. Follow me. I hope he doesn't shoot the Lila since. No. Uh, item, apparel. Whew. I was beginning to fear I may have. Be out now? Alright, she's out. There you are. Come on. There's something you need to see. And important. Real important. Well, let's brighten the thing up a bit, you know. Makes it easier to see stuff. Makes it easier to, you know, know where you're shooting at. <laughs> you alright? Ooh, 
with the dinky dino Roma with her. Don't tell me. Ooh. I wasn't sure if it was too late or not. Yeah, state key, let's take it. And now find out what Boone thinks about all this. Hey, Boone. That's it then. How did you know? Found the bill of sale. You gotta thank Nobog for it. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Up the right tree. If you like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. That was one. I think our dealings are done here. Baby. Now come on, hit the road. So you're an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. Right, so what you doing now? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Well, you could wander with me. I mean, the legion is pretty much all the time after me. I already got assassinated like once. You don't want to do that. Oh, I thought we'd work in teams, you know. I got a whole squad lined up and I could need some, you know, a bit of parody. Gender-wise. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. What? Oh, they're damaged glasses, that's why. Uh, it doesn't get darker. Only the, the, the damage ones make me see nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet. B -b -b baby, b -b baby. What the hell are you doing with your Brahmin up there? I don't. I don't want to. You do. You do. You. You do whatever you want. I got my squad assembled. I got a full house of companions now. Wait. 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 That the, the means I'm no longer needed. They're gonna do on quests on their own. No, oh, you scallyax. Wait till I get to New Vegas. I'm gonna leave every one of I you wanna behind. Have some fun. Wanna go Brahmin tipping? You'll have to do the tipping though. I can never get the Brahmin to fall over. Yeah, because they are heavy. Hey, we got a lead on the guy in the checkered coat. That was a good break, huh? Yeah, it was okay. All right. So, let's go. And end this episode here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time, we're going up to... Boulder City? Yeah, I think it's Boulder City. So, have a nice day and bye-bye.